Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Rye Free Reading Room Tales for Tots program. My name is Granny Jean, and I'm hoping that you and your caregivers will be here uh, with me and have another fun day. Uh, being, having the caregivers there contributing makes it all the more worthwhile for your child. So here we go. And drown me out. That's why I want the caregivers here. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. For your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Well, today in my town, <clears throat> it was pretty blustery. <clears throat> oh boy, and it's cold, and that winter wind is starting to come in. Oh boy. Oh boy, let's have some tea. Should we have a tea party? Huh? Do you have get all your stuffed animals and your dolls together and and uh, and may, and maybe have some kind of a party with them? Sure, why not? So here we go. Here's the tea kettle, and we'll boil some water on the stove, right, for the tea. And here are all my all my little toys. Here we are. Polly, put the kettle on. Polly, put the kettle on. Polly, put the kettle on. We'll all have tea. Suki, take it off again. Suki, take it off again. Suki, take it off again. They've all gone away. Ah, we were just kidding. We were hiding. <coughs> oh, come on. That's not a nice trick to play. <coughs> Polly, put the kettle on. Polly, put the kettle on. Polly, put the kettle on. We'll all have tea. Suki, take it off again. Suki, take it off again. Suki, take it off again. They've all gone away. <laughs> oh, that's not nice. No, teasing isn't nice. <clears throat> well, I see a barn. Do you suppose a farmer takes care of all these animals that I see? That might be true. I think they'd have to have someone take care of them, right? Let's, let's pretend it's old McDonald, shall we? Old McDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm, he had a dog, E-I-E-I-O. Now you make your own dog sound with a woof, woof here and a woof, woof there. Here a woof, there a woof, everywhere a woof, woof. Old McDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm, he had a cat. And she plays the violin, a fiddle. E-I-E-I-O, with a mew mew here and a mew mew there. Here a meow, here a meow, everywhere a meow meow. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm he had a horse, E-I-E-I-O. With a nay nay here and a nay nay there. Here a nay, there a nay, everywhere a nay nay. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm, he had a hen, E-I-E-I-O, with a quack, quack here and a quack, quack there. Here, quack, there, a quack, everywhere, quack, quack. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm, he had a pig, E-I-E-I-O, with an oink, oink here and an oink, oink there. Here, an oink, there, an oink, everywhere, an oink, oink. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm, he had a sheep, E-I-E-I-O, with a ba-ba here and a ba-ba there. Every, here a ba, there a ba, everywhere a ba-ba. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm, he had a cow, E-I-E-I-O, with a moo here and a moo there. Here a moo, there a moo, everywhere a moo, moo. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. Well, my goodness me, there are a lot of animals to take care of there, right? Did you ever think that they could play an instrument, a musical instrument? Well, I have a book today that talks about the animals playing instruments instead of making their usual sounds. But first, let's listen to what Wizzy Wizard has to say for our caregivers. Hi, Wizzy. What's up today? Well, let's see. Let's see. Uh, Wizzy Wizard says, 
letter knowledge isn't just recognizing the letters, it's the sounds that are connected to them, right? So <clears throat> pointing out and talking about letters and their sounds wherever you go. <clears throat> the most interesting letters, of course, are the letters in their name. <clears throat> and children are the <clears throat> most interested in those, right? So begin there and have fun with that, right? See, see how many places you, they, they can find their letters in their name. <clears throat> well, the first book I told you about was The Farmer and His Wife. And look, here are all the animals playing, I think, to their new baby. What do you think? Mm -hmm. There's a farmer out in his field, and, and the farmer's wife is nearby that baby, right? And this is Fiddle I Fee by Will Hillenbrand, and it's an old folk song. And I like it very much. So I'll sing it. And I'm sure that your caregivers know the tune. So they'll sing along with me and keep me in tune. OK? I see the farmhouse and I see a big tree. I see some wash on the line. Goodness me. I had me a cat. And my cat pleased me. I fed my cat by yonder tree. And my cat went. Fiddle I fee. There he is, playing the violin or a fiddle. See? There he is up in there in the barn. <clears throat> I had me a duck, and my duck pleased me. I fed my duck by yonder tree. What is the duck gonna play? A clarinet. Oh, I think it's a, a recorder or an oboe. No, it's a recorder. Wah -ha, wah -ha. Fiddle I fee. I had me a goose and my goose pleased me. Fed my goose by yonder tree. And my goose went honk, honk. I am, I mean, I'm sorry. Hum, some quonk, Fiddle I fee. Goose is playing a concertina, I think that's what it's called. It's like an accordion, All right? Um, so I had me a dutch, a hen, and my hen pleased me, fed my hen by yonder tree. And my hen went chimcha, chimcha, and what's that? Washboard. And that made kind of a fun sound. Hum, sum, qua, qua. Fiddle I feed. I had me a pig and my pig pleased me. I fed my pig by yonder tree. And my pig went. Playing the harmonica. Griffy, Griffy. Yeah, there he is. Griffy, Griffy. <clears throat> Jimmy Chuck, Jimmy Chuck. Hum, sum, qua, qua. Fiddle I feed. I had me a cow, and my cow pleased me. Fit my cow by yonder tree. And my cow went strum, strum. <clears throat> griffy, griffy, chimmy chuck, chimmy chuck, hum, sum, quack, quack, in life. I had me a horse, and my horse pleased me. I fed my horse by yonder tree, and my horse went up, up. Look at that. He's playing the washboard with a string and a pole, making kind of a fun sound. Strum, strum, griffy, griffy, chimmy chuck, chimmy chuck. A one song, hum, song, qua, qua, fiddle I feed. I had me a dog, and my dog pleased me. Digging out my flowers? No, bearing a bone. I fed my dog by yonder tree, and my dog went clickety clack. He's playing the spoons. <laughs> you think you could play the spoons? Danny will show you how. Oh, mama. Uh, 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 
Straw hum, straw hum, grippy, grippy, Jimmy Chuck, Jimmy Chuck, as hum, some qua, qua, little I be. I had me a sheep, and my sheep is me. At my sheep by yonder tree, and my sheep went shake, shake, clickety clack, up, up, strum, up, strum, squiffy, griffy, chimmy chuck, chimmy chuck. Where is that goose? Wah, wah, wah. And oh, here he is, here he is. Hum, sum. I had a baby and my baby pleased me. Whoops. Fed my baby by yonder tree. And my baby went tee 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 tee. -tee. And my calf went fiddle I pee. Yeah. Farmer's wife had a baby. Yeah, it took her nine months. Hmm. And she had all those animals singing to her baby. Isn't that wonderful? Well, let's see what we have here. <clears throat> we'll take the, some of these animals away. Give us some room, shall we? Mm -hmm. We still have the barn. And we have a moon. Woo, and the purple cow. The purple cow. I never saw a purple cow. I never hoped to see one. But I would rather see one than be one. <clears throat> hey, diddle diddle, the cat and the fiddle, the cow jumped over the moon. The little dog laughed to see such sport, <laughs> and the dish ran away with the what is that spoon? Yeah, there we go. Hey, diddle diddle, the cat and the fiddle. The cow jumped over the moon. The little dog laughed to see such sport. <laughs> and the dish ran away with the spoon. Moon, spoon, cow, how, cat, cat. Then to think of that. There we go. <clears throat> well. I don't know, that wind was sure cold. Ooh. Wow, was that cold. The north wind does blow and we could get snow. And what will poor Robin do then? Poor thing. He'll sit in the barn, keep himself warm and tuck his head under his wing. Poor thing. A lot of birds sleep with their heads under their wings. Maybe see ducks do that. So here we go. See if you can do this with me. Here we go. You ready? The north wind does blow and we could get snow. What will poor Robin do then? Poor thing. He'll sit in the barn and keep himself warm and tuck his head under his wing. Poor thing. Just tuck it under there. Just tuck it under. Hmm. <clears throat> Does a cow say boo? What did we say the cow said? Strum, strum? Oh, I don't know about that. Does a cow say boo by Judy Hindley? Well, let's see if you remember what these animals say from old MacDonald. So I want to hear it. I want to hear it. Okay, you're going to say it with me? Okay, good. <clears throat> Does a cow say boo? Oh no, what does a cow say? A cow says, moo. That's what a cow says. <clears throat> and you can too, but who says boo? Boo. <clears throat> does a pig say boo? Oh, no, no, no. A pig says oink, and a pig <clears throat> goes boom. A 
as it squiggles and squaffles in the mud. Oink, oink. There they are, the mama pig and her babies. Well then, but who says boo? Does a dog say boo? Oh no, what does a dog say? Woof, woof, woof. And sometimes arf, and sometimes grrr. Ah, but I've never heard a dog say boo. Have you? My dog used to say ouch when he wanted to blow. Smart dog. Well then, does a cat say boo? Oh, don't be sick. A cat says, you. And a cat says, meow. And a cat goes, when you stroke its fur. That's called purring. A cat purr. But who says boo? Does an owl say boo? Oh, no, no, no. An owl says, boo, twit, twit, boo. Some owls say that. Some owls say different little songs. Yeah. And there's the owl. That's a barn owl. And he sits in the barn and he, he catches the mice that eat up the farmer's grain. Yes. Well, and down below, whoops, 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 whoops. <clears throat> and down below, a mouse goes squeak. And a horse says, nay, hey, well that, those mice better watch out. The horse won't hurt them, but that owl. And way up high on the hen house roof, the rooster throws back his head. And how does he go? Oh, there he is, so proud and cocky. He's cocky. Listen to that. Oh, he's so proud of himself. Look at me, he says. <clears throat> what a hullabaloo. A duck says quack, a bird says tweet, a hen says cluck, and her chicks say cheep. <clears throat> a bee goes buzz, a lamb, <clears throat> and a sheep says ba. But some little creatures say nothing at all. Those are the little, huh, maybe bugs and things. Oh, little caterpillars. So isn't there anyone who says boo? Hide your eyes and tell me who. What do you say now? You say what? Pika boo. Sure, we say pika boo, but animals don't. They might play that game, but who knows? <clears throat> well, <clears throat> getting pretty cold out, little froggy. There's a bullfrog. Yug-gung went the little bullfrog one day. Yug-gung went the little bullfrog. Yug-gung went the little bullfrog one day. And his eyes went blink, yunk, yunk, yunk. Can you do that with your eyes? That's blinking. This is winking, but this is blinking. Let's see if you can do that. Let's see if I can do it right this time. Yug-gung went the little bullfrog one day. Yug gung went the little bullfrog. Yug gung went the little bullfrog one day, and his eyes went yunk, yunk, yunk. <clears throat> well, we're going to talk about the frog later on. <clears throat> but Jack Sprat and his wife had a beautiful Thanksgiving dinner, and they had a ham. Oh, what a big piece of meat that is, huh? That is a big piece of meat. 
And over here, his wife sits. She's a little on the chubbier side, isn't she? She's a little chubby. And he is very thin. Jack Spratt. Jack Spratt could eat no fat. His wife could eat no lean. And so between the both of them, they lick the platter clean. Now, this is the meat part, and that's the fatty part. <clears throat> so here we go. Jack Spratt could eat no fat. His wife could eat no lean. And so between the both of them, they lick the platter clean. Well, my gracious. And we all have, maybe a lot of us have a lot of special diets, don't we? <clears throat> now, some foods don't agree with some people, right? Yeah. Well, let's see. Can you think all the way back to summertime? Can you pretend it's summertime? What, what do you think about when you think about summer? It's warm, everything is green, flowers are blooming. And this is in the small, small pond by Denise Fleming. We had read in the small, tall, tall grass a few months ago. But this is in the small, small pond. What's a pond? Why, it's a little, it's a little bit bigger than a puddle. But the little creatures that live in it, watery, right? <clears throat> and it's not terribly big like a lake, smaller than a lake. In the small, small pond. What do you see? I see dragonflies. Whoops. In the small, small pond. What did that boy try to do? I don't know. You think he tried to catch that frog? <laughs> Probably. Jiggle, wiggle, tadpoles, wriggle. What are tadpoles? They look like fish, but they're not. They're baby frogs, right? Some of them might be baby toads. <laughs> Waddle, wade, geese parade. Oh, well, see, now the beginning of summer, those babies of the mother goose <laughs> are getting bigger. And they're starting to follow her. There they are, parade. <clears throat> Hover, shiver, wings quiver. Ooh, quiver. Look at that. I wonder what those dragonflies eat. Brows, doze, eyes close. Those are turtles, and they're resting on a log. Look at that. They share it with a frog <coughs> and they like the sun. The sun is nice and warm. Wow. <clears throat> Lash, lunge, herons, plunge. Oh, I just missed that frog. What a tasty dinner he would have been. Heron is a big waiting bird. <clears throat> Splitter, splatter. Minnows scatter. When that frog leaps in there, boy, those little fish dart away, don't they? Disappear. Now, here's another little creature on the pond. Swirl, circle, swirl. Uh, whirly gigs twirl. And they float right on top of the pond. They don't sink. They just sit right there. Ah. <clears throat> sweep, swoop, swallows, scoop. And those birds are swallows, and they're scooping up all the mosquitoes. That's kind of nice. You don't have to be bothered with them. Click, clack, claws, crack. Those are crayfish. They're teeny little lobsters. Yeah, crayfish. They're like a lobster. They're not quite. <clears throat> Dabble dip, tails flip. Oh, that's how the ducks eat. They flip upside down like that with their tails up in the air, looking for something under the water to eat. Mm -hmm. Looks like it's getting a little bit colder out now. What is that raccoon doing? 
splish, splash, paw, splash. Yeah, he's washing his food. Raccoons wash their food. Very clean. Ah, oh, it's getting ready for winter. Pile, pack, muskrat, stack. Oh, they're fixing up their house, making it nice and warm for winter time. Oh, chill, a breeze, winter freeze. Oh, it's time to go south. Cold night, sleep tight, small, small pond. Hmm. Oh my goodness me. Let's see what we've got here. Here's a little pond. Farm way up there so it doesn't get in the way. Whoops. Now, we know there are a lot of things in that pond, but we also know there's some frogs, right? Let's put three here. One, can you help me count? One, two, three. Okay? Three green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled log, eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are two green speckled frogs. Glug, glug. Two green speckled frogs sat on a speckled log, eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. And what is that? That his tongue goes out and snatches them, right? Sticky tongue. Huh. Huh. One, <clears throat> one jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there is one green speckled frog. Glug, glug. One green speckled frog sat on a speckled log, eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. He jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are no green speckled frogs. Look, look. Well, as it gets colder, where did we see that? Let's see what we do with that book. Huh. Well, that's kind of amazing. Disappeared. I hope disappeared. No. Anyway, what we saw. What I was going, supposed to point out to you was that the frog, the frogs buried themselves in the mud right below the, right below the water in that pond. They buried themselves nice and warm in that mud. And then what happened? It got colder, and colder, and colder out. And then what happened to the pond? Do you think? That's right. Ice. Iced over, iced over, and then what do you suppose went over the went over the ice? You think it could have been a maybe a snowstorm that came? I think it might have been. Now, last week I was telling you about my grandpa, right? And how he lived up on a farm, and before there were any cars or trucks in the world. There were no airplanes. There was absolutely, the only thing you could do would be go by horse. And if it was snowy, snowy out, then what would <laughs> You'd have to have the horse pull a sleigh, not a wagon, right? So here's a one, here's a sleigh that my grandpa probably had to go visit his Grandma and Grandpa, right? My Grandma and Grandpa had relatives all upstate New York where the winters came very early. Yes, they did. Right. And remember this, this book that we read last week. Over the river and through the woods to Grandfather's house we go. The horse knows the way to carry the sleigh through white and drifted snow. Over the river and through the woods, oh, how the wind 
just right. It's changed the toes and bites the nose as over the <coughs> ground we go. So let's sing that part. I think that's kind of pretty. <clears throat> Over the river and through the woods, through grandfather's house we go. The horse knows the way to carry the sleigh through bright and drifted snow. Over the river and through the woods, oh, how the cold wind blows. It, it bites the nose and stings our toes as over the ground we go. A lot of farms up there. No really not too big a city, if there were any cities up there. All small towns, right? A long time ago, when my grandpa was a little boy, you know, no one knew anything about cars. They didn't know anything about planes. You know? There were none in the whole world. You know? But they had horses. Yes, they did. And they had sleds and they had wagons. Stage coaches and trains. Yep. <clears throat> well, let's see. I'm sure that when they got to grandma's, what do you think? You think that maybe grandma put on her her big iron stove there, a pot, and they made some popcorn? Huh? I think they did. So this is a good jumping game. So ask your mom and dad or, or your caregiver you can jump in the house. It's a good jumping game. And this is what it sounds like when you um, make popcorn. They go out in with a jingle, they come out with a pop. Little Colonel popping in the cooking pot. Jingle, 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 pop, 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 pop. They go in with a jingle, they come out with a pop. Little Colonel popping in the cooking pot. Jingle, 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 pop, 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 pop. They can go faster. They go in with a jingle, they come out with a pop. Little Colonel popping in the cooking pot. Jingle, jingle, pop, 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 pop. Okay, I think it's time to say goodbye. So I'm so glad you came with us. Goodbye, my friends, and bye-bye to Granny G. Bye-bye to old McDonald and all of his animals there. And night-night time to Mr. Frog. We'll see you in the spring. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye. Thank you for coming.